I have an idea by making a Raspberry Pi computer with an articulating screen for the tinker area here. So that's what I'm going to talk about now. I'm Lynn, and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. So I've been working quite a bit in my tinker corner area here for a while now, and I've been thinking that I really need a computer. I have to do like Arduino programming and things like that. Like nothing heavy, no graphics work or, or editing or anything like that. Just some tinker related stuff. And for that, I need a computer. So I was thinking what would be a good computer and why not use the Raspberry Pi? Uh, because it's really small and perfect for that. I actually have the Arduino programming on here already so that I can use it for that. So I built this little prototype. This is actually made with Lego. And just to kind of test out the concept, see how small this is. So I thought it'd be really cool if I could make a little box and maybe attach it to the back of the screen. So I had this old laptop screen that I took apart. Uh, it broke, so I ordered another one. So here the new one is, and it has some protective plastic on here. And then I also got the HDMI controller so that I can um, control and hook it up to the, the Raspberry Pi here. And what I really need is to kind of create a box or a case to hold the electronics as well as the screen. So I was thinking about, okay, what would be a cool material to use? And then I thought, why not plastic? Plastic is something that I've been wanting to work with, and this is ABS plastic. And I did a couple of tests. I used the router and the roundover bit to kind of create this nice profile here. And I also uh, did some tests with the super glue, which worked out really well, you know, uh, connecting the plastic to plastic to kind of make a box. So now I'm thinking that wouldn't it look kind of awesome if I made like a little case and with like sides and it would hold all of these things. And then on the back of it, I could maybe have a little box that the Raspberry Pi connects to. And I really like the idea of that. I think that could be, could be really, really nice. Now the thing about this computer here is that I don't want anything taking up space on the desk, which is why I don't want to have a laptop. Uh, I don't want to have a screen on the desk here. I want to be able to get it out of the way. Uh, so I have space here for other work. And that kind of brought me to the concept of this lamp. Um, so some of you may have seen this. I made this a couple of weeks back for the Make channel. It's an articulating uh, LED desk lamp or task lamp. And it has this really cool swivel point here and then all the arms articulating as well so you can change it. And uh, I really, I've used this a lot and I really like the way it works. There are a couple of cool features on here. Um, like the, one of them is how I connected the, uh, the screen here, the panel with magnets. The wiring is connected with magnets. And that's because I was thinking that it would be kind of interesting to be able to switch out the panels easily without doing any soldering. Like if I wanted a really large panel or a smaller panel, and also these are warm lights and I was thinking maybe I want one with cool lights. And you can kind of see the way they look here. And then I also have plexiglass here connected uh, with magnets as well, which I really like. So anyway, uh, that's how the way this one works. And I thought maybe I could use a similar concept for the Raspberry Pi computer using the same concept of the arms and the articulation and maybe put it over here, being able to bring out the screen whenever I need it, have the Raspberry Pi on the back, then using um, a Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mouse. That way there would be no wires around and it would be just perfect for my corner here. I could push it out of the way, bring it out when I need it. Very similar to this lamp, which I really like. So that's kind of what I'm working on. I've been thinking about this for a while now, doing some tests. You know, I, I like when things kind of take some time when you don't just dive into something at once. But I think I'm getting ready now to start working on this for real. So I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. And uh, yeah, I'll put some uh, links in the description to the products that I'm working with if you're interested in checking that out. And yeah, otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. I really want to thank my patrons over at Patreon for the support I've been receiving. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to help me grow this channel so I can introduce more people to this awesome world of making and building, then please check out my Patreon page. Thanks guys!